Now, Palaka is on a glow up. I rolled down there to check out a newly established restaurant that has a reputation from its days as a food truck, pro proclaiming the menu as full of heart and soul. So gang, have food, rants will travel. And uh, typically when I'm hanging out with my man Tyrone, he's in his truck traveling to me. Today, we are in his brick and mortar. This is the heart and soul food eatery, not the food truck, although the truck still exists. And so, man, thanks for the invite. Thanks, man, appreciate it. Me and my wife, man, we, Latifah, we've, we've grown and we're, we're here now in Palaka, in downtown Palaka, down by the, by, down by the river. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a van down by the river. <laughs> but, you know. So, uh, let's just cut to the nuts and bolts. Yeah. Palaka. Why? So Palaka is growing. We, you know, this just came about because we were traveling back and forth from St. Augustine to Gainesville, and all the time I used to pass by these buildings and with with, with uh, signs up saying for rent. So we, I called. Um, the price was affordable, and we've got to like it to up and coming town. And so it's good to be a part of something that's growing and moving forward. So you're like, I'm gonna give people more reasons to come down to Palaka other than the Blue Crab Festival or the uh, Green Cove Spring Soul Food Festival. Tyrone's like, y'all come here, I got soul food and Caribbean all day. Not every day, you're only open how many days? We are open five days a week right now, Wednesdays through Saturdays. 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then Sundays from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Oh, okay, come in and get you a little after church. Right meal. after church. I feel you. Yeah. Gonna get a witness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about the brick and mortar. So, like I said, I know your truck expands. If you do a lot of work in there, what was the impetus for you wanting to find a home? So it's it made it kind of like a home base. Um, so a home base would have been good so that we had to be doing catering events um, and also somewhere that somebody can come find us consistent, consistently. Now, when it comes to your food, people know you sold food, but you also throw some Caribbean flair and stuff. So are there staples to the menu or does it change on the regular? How are you working out? So we um, we have our staples with a, as our goals to our, our jerk chicken here. Um, we have our brisket. Um, on this plate, we have our wings. Um, um, that's covered in uh, sweet chili. You can get it dry without any sauces on it. Um, we have our catfish, macaroni and cheese, and collard greens. So those are really our staples. We really try to make those every day. Um, we mix it up. We'll do pulled pork, as you can see right here. We'll also do uh, pot roast. We'll do curry chicken. What's not on this plate is it's a high seller. It's our oxtails. We oh, this is what we doing? No oxtails for me. Uh, you know, we added this this week. We didn't even we didn't even run. We usually run it when we do big events, Port Jose. Um, when we do stuff at the amphitheater, we do Jamaican beef patty because it's easy for the hand. Mm -hmm. They can walk around with it. And but the beef patty has been one of our exactly. See that right there. And you know, my father's from Jamaica. And in Jamaica, they eat it with cocoa bread and cheese. We're not gonna go that far right now. <laughs> I mean, make a day trip down here to Palaka. There's all kinds of stuff to do. Definitely come in and see the people here at Heart and Soul Food Eatery. They've got events, they do DJ, they do brunches. Uh, too much to mention. Bye. I gotta get the word. Bye. Be gone. <laughs> Tyrone and his team at Heart and Soul Food Eatery aim to make downtown Palaka a destination spot for all of Jacksonville to enjoy. Find out more on their Facebook page, Heart and Soul Food Eatery. Now hang with us. We'll be talking about an all-inclusive experience at the Gate River Run when we come back.